Hello class, this is Mr. Perez. I'm going to show you how to make, to make a collage using Microsoft Word. Word is not really a program that you will use to make collages, but it actually works. I would normally use Photoshop, but to use that kind of software, you need to have the software plus a little more knowledge. So let's say I'm doing a collage about pollution on the sea, about like garbage and plastic, which has been a hot topic lately. I went to the internet and I downloaded a bunch of photos. And here are my photos. Okay, when you're on Google, when you look at photos on Google, let's say I have this photo, you cannot drag the little image into your folder. You have to drag the big one. You can drag them and there I got a bunch of photos. They're actually useful. So I have these photos on this folder and I can actually take them into uh, Microsoft Word and start playing with them. Uh, for my example, I want to make a collage that has a few photos and I'm going to make a full collage. I just want to show you the basics and what you can do with it. So I'm going to drag from the photos that I downloaded a few of them. I got this really sad photo of a turtle that you can see she ate some plastic which kills them. It's really, really sad. I got a photo here of plastic bottles. I got uh, another one of a coral. Okay, as you can see the photos start to move from page to page. But I'm going to take care of all that very soon here. Uh, and I got another one of a little horseshoe. Uh, a seahorse, I'm sorry. We're thinking horseshoe crabs. Uh, a seahorse. And we got a few photos here. Now, with Word, you can do a few tricks that are kind of neat. If you double click on it, on an image, uh, the menu change, you get into picture format. And you can do a few tricks. Let's say I like the little seahorse, but I don't need all that background. I can actually go and crop the image a little bit. You go to this black area, you can actually push, and then you're done. You just click outside, and there it is. But as you notice, when you try to move the image, they really don't work very well. What Word does is actually treating the image as a giant letter. So to solve this, what you can do is you can right-click on the image, and you can do... Uh, and bring to front or send to back or you can actually do a text wrap that's usually the one I use and you can do like a top and bottom or you can do like in front of text or behind text this is actually a better choice so if I put it in front of text now you see it's on top of the other image so only the image are actually move up I can do the same for this one let me put it uh, let me see, I need to do the wrapping. I'm going to put it behind the text. So now, one of the images that I downloaded before of this coral living inside a bottle, it went up. Remember the turtle? They start moving up now. Now this one is not moving. I need to do the same thing, the text wrapping. Text wrap, let me click here so you can see it. Wrap text. Let me put it in front of text. Now it's in front of the little horse. See, they call this a stacking order. And it's also very nice because I can actually shrink the image. Every time I shrink them, I hit the shift key at the same time. I press it. So the image goes down proportionally. And I have this images now they're all in the same place. I need to fix them one more tall here. And I go, let me put it in front of text. Now it's in front of everyone. See, this is the way your collage should be, where the images are actually interacting with each other. Now I'm looking at this image here. Let me zoom out a little bit. So this one is in a bad position, this one of the total, because she's like facing, looking towards the right, and I place it on this side of the page. It's more interesting if this animal is over here looking towards your page. Same thing with the little seahorse. If it was here, it's not the best place because he cannot kick you out of the page. You want to keep him like looking to the page. Also, you can rotate it and you can be a little funky with this, a little more playful. Uh, a big image like this makes a really good background image. 
I can enlarge it. Maybe I can use it for a layout, you know, where I have the whole page. You see how big it becomes. It's kind of like a cool background. And I have like a bunch more images. I can bring, you know, this one is really sad. And remember when I bring them over, and then go wrapping, I'm gonna put it in front. Now it's just in front of everything. So you can see what's happening here. I can shrink the size a little bit. Maybe it's a good place to be here because it's looking toward the other one. What I don't want to have is this blank spaces. So I can get like generic ways or something uh, to fill all those gaps. You know, I have this big one. Maybe that one should be in the big one that I have for background. I could have rotated and have it as a giant background that it's going to work for my whole image where I can actually let's say, you know, oh, let's make a bigger image here and I can keep playing with this and now my collage is getting a little better as you can see there's also a bunch of little effects that you can do remember, you have to double click on it there are artistic effects that you can do. You can play with the colors same way as you do with your phone. You can blur things. You can put textures. You see how you got like a little glow, or you can do like change with the play with the light, make it brighter, make it darker, and you can create more effects. Once you do all this, actually, the software is really actually it's not bad. You can actually. Also select multiples. If you click and you hit shift, uh, where it lets you select several images. And you can actually group them also. And they will behave like a, like one image. So you have a lot of options. It kind of move a little slow because it's not really a photo editing software. But this is the class that you want. You don't want to have a bunch of little images next to each other. So See, if I hit group, it took a while to do that. Now all these images, they're moving together. For some reason, I didn't pick out the background one. I think it's just now too big, but you see how they're moving together. And you can actually put effects to all of them. I put like a drop shadow there. Start to see what you see. They got like that little white border. So the border, in that case, you don't want it because it kind of breaks the mood of the collage. Collage are images interacting together. Actually, I don't like them as a group. I think it would be better if they actually, you can actually have them overlapping. I got an example for you, like this lady that she worked making like atomic bomb collages. And this is what you want for your collage. Please do not do the kind of project where you have uh, like one image next to each other like this, like window panes. You do not want this for your project. See what I had done before, it was a lot more interesting. So now you know that you can do this type of stuff on Word. Remember once you do everything, you can group them. Grouping is kind of neat because if you group it, you can actually keep them together. So when you make your, write your paper with your partner, you can actually uh, have the image that work. What some people do also, because sometimes in Word, images tend to move weird. You can also blow up your image big, you know, a nice size, and you can take a screenshot of it and then crop it properly, you know, and that will look like one image, the way it will behave. And remember to, Change the second order, the way they move. Let's say I want the little horse on the front. You just bring to front. Or you send to back or backward. There are three choices. Front, back, or backward. And you can get it to work. So I hope this video helped. And if you have any questions, please ask. Take care.